mean, it's good to see your face. Yeah, it's good to see yours today. Everything that's going on is a little, it's a little crazy out there, but it's good. It's yeah, good. yeah. Um, some good change happening and uh, some wild things, you know. Yeah. Um, it's good to see everybody else's faces in here, too. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining and in. Yes. Once again, you know, this is the, uh, oh, I'll let you take it. issues yeah, i know it's like i don't know i don't know if our sink is on oh right yeah now. our sink is on i know i don't know what happens yeah. so 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 we should i try to reset it again oh see we just i think we're we okay right now huh? yeah i think we're okay right now okay but there, there is a delay because yep. you speak, nothing comes out, then it happens. I'll probably get into the same thing on your side. Maybe um, they're messing with the uh, with it, everybody that's coming in. Everybody's being online at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are. You are. You, oh, I just had a poor connection. I, I don't know what's happening, y'all. I got a great connection on my Wi-Fi, but it's there. So, hey, so we're, <laughs> we're can't kick it off. Kick it off. So welcome back, you guys. Um, me and Keith Shockway, we go on every Wednesday. Sorry we missed you guys last week. Um, we just all need to, to take all of this in. And we're back. We're real. We're more real than ever. Not like yes. we weren't real with you guys before. And um, we're always fundraising for the American Heart Association. Um, all donations from this live show go straight to the American Heart Association. Keith, um, I know you had a heart attack about a year ago, work and have involvement with the American Heart Association. So if you yes. guys are able to donate, we encourage you to donate. Your donations are much appreciated. And we're here for learning, education, to talk about our commonalities and And my and my issues of rant. Um, you're my driver. <laughs> my issues of rant. Like, yeah. So my soapbox. <laughs> no, no. We exactly. Like said, we try to. We try this to is Keith's soap things. opera box yes. channel. Yeah. So we we try to we try to talk about things that you know that matters. Um, uh, let we try to encourage her to deal with deal with legislation. Um, that's happening, and that's how you change things. But then there's there's things that happen in me and Cat's profession. Um, as she's as a, a photographer, you <laughs> most of you guys can see from the back. <laughs> me me in the back. Going, there's a lot of things that's happening. Am I am I cutting in and out? Am I good? Um. So if you guys are checking out, um, there's a lot of issues that are happening that is all to deal with what we're dealing with now. And and the reason why I, I, I try to talk with a lot of music stuff, because part of big corporations and what we're dealing with, not only just with police brutality, it's how one one facet of a of a of a I don't know of a of a business that everybody loves is music. But then we have issues in that, um, as yep. far as race, and as far yeah. as uh, um, uh, black life, and how black people are are treated within the music industry. For some people that might not know, yes, we don't get a fair shake in a lot of this stuff. We have yes. things. People have kind of been speaking out about this, but it's really kind of hidden and buried. So I would love to know, because you were there, you were mm -hmm. there, you're my Wikipedia and all of this, and you have the facts. They're trying to change the music industry, and by, by they, I mean the music industry, is changing the term urban and redefining that. What is your take on it? How did that term become coins and 
Let's talk about that. Urban music. So, you know, I had did a, a talk and stuff like that about, you know, why y'all don't have a lot of black people working at Google. So I was one with the CEOs and the, um, the employees earlier last week of doing, you know, talking to them about, you know, what it is. And everybody wants to know how they can help the, the black race, but we'll get into that later. But one thing that's happening in the music industry is the term urban. Um, um, as a hip hop producer coming into the game, you know, that term came about so they can sell more uh, product. Because if y'all know, this is about when I came in, it was it was called it, it's rap music. So that's yep. what it is. We rappers that make beats and rhyme over music. So the term rap music. But the problem is with that happen, that term is as you want to deal with um, corporate America, that term is not sellable to them. So <laughs> we had the, we had the problem. The early this is the early generation, not the younger generation. And I mean by early generation, my generation that kind of influenced it being played 24 7 and and how we had to start and build this and keep it you know make it a valuable business to the point where everybody thought what it was a um it was a um a, a, a fad which it wasn't a fad it it's it's a, a sustainable life right now so the term urban was designed to let people know that we don't want to use the term rap music. Was it's, that offensive to like some people rap music? And let's let's kind of go back to the origin of what does the word urban even mean? It's like it's cities, it's buildings, you know, it's a, it's an area. So, you know, like I, I view New York City as an urban city. I view Los Angeles is an urban city, and then you have the outskirts that are actually suburban. So how did that, like, the two and two get married and said, this is urban music? Like, um, was it a street thing? Was it a... No. It's a business thing. It's mm -hmm. how, do I sell my, how do I sell my Mercedes cars that Mercedes don't want a certain group of people buying, but me still make it look cool because at the time now, rap people, uh, rap artists are, are generating dollars. Yeah. So it's about how they need to feel and how they need to sell to their people. So this is what this is what it is about. This is how white America looked at it. So using the term urban, they feel that it kind of still street, but not as black. Because y'all know urban is all the urban cities, um, like you said, like you said, Manhattan. But the they almost make it feel like that's a black thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a black thing, but it's not. You know, it's not. So we're from the suburb. You know, I'm from the suburb, and we're making this music. So we're being categorized. And even when I done done like public um, uh, panels and seminars. They felt that because of the music and our and our and our um, and our message, that we was from the urban part of New York of New York, which would be either the Bronx, Harlem, uh, you want to call it Brooklyn, Brooklyn's part of Long Island, y'all. Um, so if you want to call it like that, they would think that that's where we. Not from there. We're from suburbia. So as as a as a person dealing with suburbia, that we was from the urban, so the part urban of New York, Bronx, of New York, we was which just was like, eh, y'all, y'all living a good life. Y'all ain't got it hard like we have it. Everything is, you know, y'all, y'all should just chill. But it wasn't like that. So, so that term, we knew that it gave a a a a, a, a signal when you're yeah. selling when you're selling to advertisers that this is really black music. Yeah. And I, I can, I can understand that to some really weird degree. 
because I work in marketing and advertising and terminology is completely used wrong and people are unaware. Now you just turned green, man. I just, I just turned green. <laughs> what happened, man? But like people are happened. so I, unaware I, and they become tone deaf in the words that they're using. Um, and there's a lot of just this like very like deafness, I would say, within social media. And as I mentioned before, I read the articles on, you know, the music industry wanting to take out urban and like, I'm wondering what are they going to change it to first off? And then second off, I'm seeing that a lot of young executives within the industry, no names dropping here, literally stands with pride behind that point term of urban music. And I'm wondering if there's just a generational gap that happened there and why are so, so many people, um, black executives and black artists proud with urban music as a coined term versus on the other side. So the young, the younger executive, I think a lot of them haven't, was never told of why it was used. Proud. So with urban music as a coin term um, versus it, on the other years. side. It's 30 years strong. You know what I'm saying? I'm, it's a little more than 30. I'm going to say as far as so it being the young, music, the, the, the younger executive, label, I'm going to go as far as it's 40 years strong. So it's 40 years strong. In the beginning, we was fighting for things that, that the now generation gets as a standard. Mm -hmm. So once again, when you say urban and from coming from my perspective, not my perspective, from what we had to go through being Long Island and coming from the suburb, urban is a city term, but it got diluted to the point where urban just became, this is black music. So you can have executive, I'm the head of the urban department. So what does that mean? You're head of the urban <laughs> department. I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I don't I, know. Either. I don't quite get. It. I don't, I don't know either what it means. But people have made it acceptable. Like everybody's just accepted it because the because music industry made them accept you, it. You, you, well, it it just got it just got marketed that way. Exactly, so, and I know the power of marketing, yeah. so I can completely understand how marketing goes astray, and it can get very toned up. And then, and then, and then, when the young execs is born into the term urban where some of us especially like i said the suburban cats making records we kind of took that offense because we're not from the urban world which is yeah. the city um yeah. stacked up on top of each other that, that's the way we looked at it coming from new york so um even if you're from california you're, 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 if you're in compton you're, it's not an urban area it's a suburban area um the way the houses are and you're not stuck on top of each other so mm -hmm. But when you when you the last fifteen any wheel right now. Oh, yo, you or me? You're back. That, that's yeah, where you keep on turning into the New apple York. spinning oh, wheel so, for so, me. So, so, I don't know if you're from California. Yeah, 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 no, yeah, 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 I don't know why my 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 thing is happening this way, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the hell's going on with this shit. Oh, good. <laughs> so let's so, hear it. Yeah. So so with within that. When the younger gen when the when the younger execs are coming in who was in the like, you know, early thirties and stuff like that and, and stuff like that. When the, when know, the younger that, execs I don't are coming in was, who was in the like role with you know, what it early thirties yeah. and stuff like that. And, the and stuff like, when the that, younger execs are coming in who was in the like role with what it was early thirties and stuff like that. And the older guy when the younger execs are coming in so when the younger guys when the when the younger execs are in you're coming into a world where 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 um 
it's normal to hear rap music 24 hours, seven days a week. My mm -hmm. generation, it was only it was only on on weekends. So we took certain things to heart based upon um, what we had to fight for to have rap music. Because I'm calling it rap music because it's not urban music. Rap music, part of American life, which has already been a part of black life. So we fought with the labels for those terms. But the labels and radio stations needed to sell advertising. So yeah. when you're selling advertisers, it's like true. And we got the spinning wheel, y'all. So I'm back again. So when you sell advertisers, Mercedes are coming through saying, we don't like that term rap music because that's too black and too ghetto. Even though urban is kind of associated with ghetto, but the but the harshness of the word kind of relaxes what you what what white America likes, yeah. Or what the what the what um what the advertisers like, yeah. But like I said, once again, we're coming from the suburbs. I mean, I got relatives. My mom was born in Harlem. I was raised on Long Island. You're so in the I, suburbs. I, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't in. The, we, we didn't have we didn't have apartments and and everybody's power. Yeah, I'm spinning again. There's I'm a been, category again, called suburban music. Suburb? No. What, what, what if they made a category called suburban music? Like, what? What would that music sound like? It would sound like, like you hear now. <laughs> it's like see, <laughs> it, it's the thing with suburban and urban life. We was known as kids that like what? Uh, this this it lays into what's happening now privilege so the urban guys even though they lived in the bronx or harlem and, and or brooklyn will look at long island guys as privileged kids because we had it made because we yes. had a home we had a backyard moms had a car dad had a car there was two cars in the family and most family so you don't understand that we don't understand it because we're like wait a minute this deal with Black life on Long Island. We are segregated to one side of the island. And that's like on the way to Fire that's Island, on, on the way like, to the Hamptons as well? No, no, that's or, Long Island. That's the right, whole okay. Long Island. The whole Long Island. So the Hamptons, is a, the Hamptons, which all the rich people live at, figured out how to hang out there and, and trip there for a moment. bought houses and became the party spot. What you had to mm. do, which is predominantly poor. Technical, Technical issues. Yeah, you keep spinning so on my what I'm saying then. Completely, man. You um, what I'm do you then. mind just re let's restart the stream? You want to restart the stream? Yeah, just hey, people, see if it's an okay. Instagram. So everybody jump back I'm on. Some here. I'm dropping some Long Island public enemy. Yeah. I would love for everybody to hear so this too.
Yeah. Hey. We do. Let me put on the makeup. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There you go. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Hey, it's my little uh, my little niece there. Hey, right. I'm good. How are you doing today? It's a, a it's been a day. Yeah. I mean, everything that's going on. It's good to see your face. Yeah, it's good to see yours today. Everything that's going on is globe. It's a little crazy out there, but it's good. It's yeah, good. yeah. Um, some good change happening and uh, some wild things, you know. Yeah. Um, it's good to see everybody else's faces in here, too. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining hey, in. Yes. I mean, it's in a deep. Um, Once and, again, you know, well, this I, is, uh, uh, I'll let you take it. And Flash and the Furious issues. Five and the, and the Cold Crush Brothers, yeah. Cool Herc, Bambada. Y'all know the history. I'm not going to get into it. Um, holler out to all my homies. So Long Island came in and kind of changed the game with with, 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 with the Rockems and Eric B's and, and you know, the, us, the kid plays and all that other stuff. So, but the thing was, us from Long Island, I just know me and my crew, we had a problem with saying – urban music and we don't live in an urban environment and you're terming hip-hop urban um which is i felt the signal now this is my opinion because some people are like whoa well, the, the bronx can see back say well we started it and it was in the urban but what do you say to a suburban kid that don't live the urban life saying that we do urban music so that's that's a that's a that's becomes a conflict but the labels I felt was comfortable with making it urban so they can sell it in a, in a comfortable way to their, mm -hmm. um, their corporate sponsors or advertisers. Yeah. Now, you got to understand, um, when you, like I said, when you're from the suburb, and, and then the other thing is how it waters down, I think, the term of now we're not saying rap music anymore we're saying I mean, we have rap I, I i would classify sometimes you know like the differentiation between rap and hip-hop and soul music definitely but when it comes but, to a category with the record labels it's been no all lumped in yeah but they lumping in because that's the best way they with got urban it. music and that's but the, the easiest thing to a, do but you brought up a point when you said hip-hop mm -hmm. okay again, this is not we're as us old cats we're just dealing with it because everybody's rocking with it hip-hop is not music hip-hop is the culture yeah and you and everybody confuses it so mm. now you you see on 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 billboards or or um if, if you go on your, your digital stream you got people terming it hip-hop rap and 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 pop yeah i ain't gonna even get into pop because you don't know what that means. That means popular. Doesn't mean white music. They're popular, but they made it white music. So when we dealing with hip hop that week, that us black kids in in low income areas of New York City created, and that was the thing. So we always wanted to turn what it really was. You know, I can go back to why we call it break dancing versus that was never the term. B boys. It, there you go. It was called B boy, which meant what is it? what's a B boy? Which meant, which meant Bronx boy or break boy because we used to dance to the breaks. Well, they used to crazy legs in them. Would dance and do a special dance to the breaks of records that Bambada and Cool Hurt and Flash and them was playing and uh, and ran grand with the theater on all of them. Yo, I got a lot of friends, y'all. If my friends are listening, y'all. I got all your covered, all right? <laughs> I, I got to remember, it's a short thing. So that was the thing. Somebody termed it break dancing, which I was I think I was correct. It was somebody from Europe because they didn't, uh, they didn't understand the terminology of B-boy. Now, B-boy seems really black because you could put the black on it and call it black boy. Right. 
So it has a lot of connotations that you can take it. But B-Boy actually meant Bronx Boy because the break dancing is in a, and the culture was birthed in the Bronx. So when we have that, and then now you call it break dancing, now you're watering it down for commercial and advertisers and, and the white audience that don't understand what, what the word B-Boy meant. So now we go yes. into the urban world. So now you have the urban department in record in the record labels dealing call it and that's mainly urban department meant black music mm -hmm. meant white music meant black yeah. music so makes sense so now it no it don't make sense well <laughs> no 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 what you're People saying makes make sense, sense in the sense that it doesn't make sense yeah well okay so so <laughs> you know what i'm saying people, let me clear let me clear that up to you for, for everybody yes. when i said it don't make sense when we say, once again, I say urban, that means Manhattan, the Bronx, because they're in the concrete jungles, all right? They're living on top of each other. So urban is, now you're signifying what, what you're not signifying, you're giving a connotation to urban where people forget white kids in Manhattan, they live, that's urban. That's still urban. Mm -hmm. But when you're dealing it in music, you're making it black. So now you're, you're, you're kind of, you're, you're, you're kind of putting a stigma. What's the, the what's the kind of like you talk, I know you're like East coast, like I'm on the West coast and it's really cool to like cross paths, like digitally. And every time you're out here, like we get to see each other, but obviously there's like different styles, I guess, of, um, black music and correct me if I'm wrong from the East coast and West coast. So, with LA, there's a lot of different styles of rap, let's say, that came out of LA due to the culture in Los Angeles and how spread out it is. And, you know, Los Angeles, you would say it's an urban city, but there's so many suburban areas. Like, what is it like whenever music comes out of Compton? You know, it just still goes into the urban category, but we still consider that rap, right? Rap because hip-hop is a culture but then yeah. there's the differentiation of like the east coast style and the west coast style no that's that's just that's just the what that's that just is. Style. no that's just a, a different way of life that's all yeah it's not a different style it's like we have a new yorkers have a faster talk y'all still with me i talk real i can talk real fast la Go. don't really talk as fast so and then la has a different different dialect or different dialect or different accent so it's never really rap is one it's never really one style of how you sound it's rap music it's what it is rap is supposed to differentiate singing from rapping yeah <laughs> that's what it that's all it was you know it comes from the term of back in the days in this in the late 60s going coming up and coming into the 70s they used to say on the street hey let me rap to you my brother because you're talking with a conversation. So we mm. are, from then, we started taking it. Y'all know the history. You started taking that and then putting that on music. It's still rapping because we don't sing. Today, the lines are blurred. Yeah. It's blurred. So these are the things that's happening. So now you don't blurred everything. So now what happens is the reason why you're going to take the word, the term urban out of the whole situation is because um it's meant for blacks so it's a signal so when you when when an advertiser comes and say like hey this was when we was coming up now it, it everybody got used to it because they've been trained that way mm -hmm. hey this is an urban station yeah not a pop station it's an urban station your signal is oh this is where all the black people listen to the music at not like now now we're all mixed into each other but this mm -hmm. was in the beginning so mm -hmm. now it's like they're going back to the beginning and figuring out like well we shouldn't have done that what do we do place. wrong but yeah you, you, you're or... fucked up already now because you know taught a culture and taught a whole life that this is it means this now so it seems it like our public now, records you, is, is really make... trying to change the term is there any insight from you of what you want the 
black music yeah. to be called just black music no, or, no, what, not, or no. to change it no. or what is it's, going it's, to be the change it's, it's rap it's, if you it's talk just about rap. rappers you talking about rappers it's rap music yeah it, it was already there never didn't mm -hmm. need to change but when you say Absolutely. rap music once again y'all to an advertiser it meant black people so that's the that's the problem that's the problem that's happening so when the rap you, music's you know, still like you got like Eminem rapping and he's white. You, so you what happens the there? Again. Yeah. Well, it's it's not a it's I'm I'm not gonna get into that. Okay. Because okay. that's the whole nother category. Yeah. Because, it's a whole different talk I'm show. Gonna on, I'm gonna touch on a little bit. Rap it's music trash. now has raised a new culture and raised new kids. So it's not about Eminem being white. Some of my older cats might argue with me with that. It's not about Eminem being white. It's about Eminem was born, grew up in a culture from his young hood, from his young age, that this is what we, they was doing. He grew up in that. So, but it's different when I was coming up because this was treated as a fad. White kids didn't grow up in black culture. Yeah, this it's really interesting. That's it kind of piques my interest there too because Russia has a lot of rap music and there's all these like Russian rappers now and in Moscow it it there's a whole different culture and I'm just wondering if there was like a grab from the American rap course, culture black music Cam and then it got adapted, yeah, but, but there no, was some no, kind of commonality there too with the culture no, no, and no, upbringings no, as well. Hold on, hold on like, no, 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 all right. No commonality. This is black culture. We're going hardcore. Black culture. We as early rappers would come to Moscow and run no nope. concerts. There's no commonality. You got it from everybody around the planet. Got it from black culture. Mm -hmm. So there's no comment. It's just that they gravitated to it and yeah. they loved it. So that's the difference. So and the, was, the Swedish was, people love it too. Like Sweden, everybody loves, listen. Everybody loves it. Everybody so. loves the culture. So let's let's yeah. be straight. Hip hop right. culture is the number one culture on the planet. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. You, 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 you ain't debating me. Nobody can debate me on that. So what happens is when you when you come from a place of that. And you mm -hmm. come from with terminologies. Now the the labels are, are like, well, maybe that was wrong. But for almost forty years, y'all made it cool. So what happened was we accepted that. We just accepted that because, hey, it is what it is. We can't control how the labels and the and the radio stations at the time before the digital platform. The radio stations at the time was making their money. Yeah. Because while they're making their money, we get our we get our licenses and copyrights and our and our and our publishing royalty. So that's is, a whole other game. Is there something that everybody can do in order to like reach out to the record labels, push for uh, push back from urban music to change it back to what it originally is, rap music? Like, is well, there any course of action everybody can take? All right, you know, this is, this, the is the actions, this is the actions of white record owners feeling sorry, feeling guilty about what they did. There's no course of action. Um, all right, the so they're trying to change the game. But hold on, the only action but, that's going to happen, Kat, the only action that's going to happen is mm -hmm. the younger ones was bred into that, calling it urban. So you got the younger. You got the younger, um, the younger um, executive saying, "Well, this yeah. is all we knew." Exactly. I, I they grew up. They grew into it. To, yes, of of walking and promoting. This is urban music, but when you get an old old motherfucker like me, who's been around, who was there from the beginning, who had to fight for some of the things that your your the younger generations is doing today. I don't care, but at the same time, when we, when at that time when we was doing it, I had a problem with it because, like, you signal us out. You're not making it. You're not making it about the music. You're making it about so, the urban. They made it about who did it. 
now it's just normal now. So I don't mm -hmm. know if, if if people are making a push towards it because it just became a thing. But I just want everybody to know the real story of it when it happens because they know young person can deny me of what it is because I was there. So um, I just want everybody to Thank know you for enlightening story. us. Yeah. Yeah, I just want everybody um, to know the real story of why it happened. And yeah, because there, there's down. a lot of articles I've looked on, a, a few articles that I've looked on on the internet, and I like to be educated and keep up with the industry, but, you know, what the news tells us compared to you, my Wikipedia tells me is completely different, and I'm seeing, like, two different, you know, like, worlds kind of happening out there to where some people are really accepting the term, standing behind it, but now you just educated um, me and, and anybody else that's listening that didn't know that all those, those executives and producers or, you know, the people in the boardroom are young. They didn't know. And they just had to accept it because it was a marketing term. It's an advertising term that just was able to sell. Now, has there been like an inequality with the urban music category compared to something that is like country music category? Yeah, you, at the time- you Like as far as royalties or anything else like that? There, I, I don't know if there's, a, it, it, there's, there are levels of it. And once again, being in the music industry, everybody gets, gets their ass handed to them, unless yeah. you become one of the people that, that have become so powerful and so popular that you now you're gonna get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. This story is from all sides of this. Yeah. Uh, of people telling me, man, um, <laughs> David Geffen said something. This is an old y'all, oh, it's an old fact, y'all. David Geffen said this about the Eagles. And if anybody knows history, look up the Eagles with Don Henley and all of them was in there. He said the music industry would be great if the artist would just shut the fuck up. Now that ain't, that ain't that ain't about black. That's about money. So we have that. We have bad rate. We have we have um uh bad situation um that deals in rights. But we ain't gonna get into that because that's not that's a that's a musician issue. Yeah. Where you know where for an for an artist to see. For an artist, there's a quick, there's a quick note for you guys. For an artist to see the money that an average person worked at at Spotify makes, an artist has to get 285 million streams, and I think that's on a on a on a on a weekly basis or a monthly basis. Who gets that? So wait, I have an idea though. If we start listening to more rap music right now with what's going on right now to be able to support black artists and black lives matter, we should all be getting on our Pandora's, our Spotify's, our YouTube's and just streaming that while we sleep, while we eat, while we shit. That way, does that help? Um uh no because if, if people have pandora for free they're not paying for the subscriptions i <laughs> know uh, i pay my for my the subscription for pandora the advertiser kicks in for the subscription but you got to understand there's a world out there that don't do that that don't pay for that i mean it's, it's, well, it's how can about, i be an well, ally i guess this and is, help this is, this black is artists situation. as well with my paid subscription to pandora can i leave it on overnight and listen to rap music and will that make any change or impact? I'm not, I don't know. I'm, I'm not, okay. a, I, I don't, I don't work the algorithms. <laughs> I don't work the algorithms. I don't know. So I, I'm just still, trying to figure things I'm out. Still, I'm still new to, to the streaming. Like I still, I'm still under trying to still under, like, like everybody else still understand how the streaming works. But what it is, is it's not about the black music. It was basically on the turn and our music would do what it do the terms of how we are treated and how things are looked, how we are sectioned out. It's like, it's now they're starting to just let rappers can, because we're in the digital age, be termed pop. Now, 
which you would never see at the Grammys. Well, I haven't seen because I, I kind of, you know, I'm part of the Grammys and I deal with them and try to vote and I try to vote for shit and I and I sit there argue with them like, how the fuck this record get nominated? And I, <laughs> nobody ever heard this shit and I and I know people haven't heard it because I do my surveys. <laughs> but right. when when you have the pop music division or the pop music category, you don't you barely see blacks. I because the term pop meant white music, which is not which is the wrong thing. Is is supposed to be the popular song. Speaking of a popular song, I I, I revisited um Childish Gambino's This Is America, and there's this line in there to where he's like, Grandma told me, like, get your money. Get your money. Grandma told me, get your money, get paid. Yeah. Like, it's somewhere yeah. along that line. And yeah. it's just kind of like wild because this is America. Because Grandma told me to get your money. Yeah. And she's told grandma, I, I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? Or am I like just reading into the song too much? Is it just like I think you read into the cool song, song because America's a, America's is about get your money. Oh well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's about get your money. Everybody Especially as an artist, well, right? A, <laughs> black, like, yeah. black life as black life, we yeah. got a different we have different ways. We have we, it's, it's a bigger struggle for us to go about to get it. Mm -hmm. So that's what that means. So it, it doesn't have nothing to do with things. The things my whole, like I said, my whole thing with this, with this thing, this topic tonight was about, was about getting uh, a, a, um, a term that's been used that the earlier rappers didn't like, as opposed to it became normal. Now yeah. we go, we we're in this, we're in this situation where black people are coming to the table. You know, Black Lives Matter. White people are dealing with like, oh, we oh now we finally see what's happening in New York. So now they want to start changing terms that we was trying to have changed terms when we was rocking in there because we knew we knew the signal. Mm -hmm. We knew how like how they, they if they heard the music, especially with some of the rappers, they wouldn't know. But then now it, it if it. Yeah, this is urban music. So, so when are we, ex is there like an industry insight of when we're like expecting this change and shift to happen and it uh, like black music being called rap again compared to I don't know urban what they music? Call it. First, of or all, if they're, yeah. first of all, I don't, I don't know what they're going to call it. I just know that they was removing the term urban, urban and they said nothing else. Yeah, I, I meant the term urban. Okay, so maybe this is the discussion that most of the rappers and artists that are signed to the labels that, or that know the record exec. So, what do you want to call it now? Any ideas? Anybody well, in the room depends. got any ideas? Well, it depends. Wait, hold on. It depends. It's, it's urban music is now kind of like R and B music is is cashed into it rap music is cashed into it. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like, it, 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 you don't, you got two styles of music being called one and then you're trying to figure out what what do you call this? I think we should put Keith Urban in there. That'll be real weird. He, he, he needs to change his name. <laughs> he needs to change He's his last name. He's not Urban. <laughs> well, he it's just his last music. name. He's like Keith Urban so country. Keith Urban music. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I got a really okay. good laugh. That was, like, a, that was a joke. And I, but, no, but. man, I, I get you. And it's like, you were talking about Black Lives Matter. And I posted on my story because I got a really good, like, insight and laugh at the same time today, too. Because, like, everybody that has been protesting on the streets and really speaking actively with their voices, too, um, it was really well said by this comedian, black lives matter. Like, we're just saying it matters. It matters. Yeah. Just matters. I mean, it, yeah. Black lives just matter. Not asking for that much. Just matter. And like, it's just, 
like, it, it, and it's really frustrating too because like a lot of activation, I'm going to touch really lightly with the, this on, uh, on social media and how like things are getting coined and turned because I think there's some misinformation that's happening because I see a lot of young white people, especially going out and protesting. And I think that is really great um, to stand in the alliance and really fight for what should have happened a long time ago. Let's not forget, but now change is happening and I'm seeing some change and I'm really happy to see that. But on the flip side in social media, what I'm seeing is that silence is violence. So there are people that I know that are having a hard time understanding that messaging. And now that we're talking about messaging, um, can you kind of explain what that is supposed to really say? Because a lot of people don't know what to say right now and don't know how to support. So they're just going blank and not speaking out. Um, that's a situation where, uh, um, people, uh, silence is violent. Sometimes it's for certain people to speak up and then sometimes it's for other people to listen. So when you say silence, is, when, when black people say silence is violent, that's not directed for white people to say that it's directed to a black people like, Hey, speak up. You, you, you have a huge platform. Somebody, somebody, somebody that have a huge platform and it's just about understanding what you're changing. So if you have a huge platform, um, it becomes a situation where I think now this is these are these are my interpretations. When people say silence is violent, I take it from the perspective of if 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 you're if you're a black and you have a big platform, you're not if some of y'all are not saying anything, then say you know you know that's that's that, that's violence. You're not speaking up. You know, I'm, I am speaking to corporations and they hit me up to do Zooms with their stuff. So how do they, how do they fix or how do they deal with, with how do they yeah. deal with black people? So I'm like, I mean, come, I mean, it's, it's crazy that I'm doing this in 2020 and, and you don't know because everybody's on the same plane of not work. Most people on the same plane of not working or put it this way, they're not going out. Yeah. You can't social hang out except for if you're protesting. So with with that is if you if you say that to a black person like, hey man, don't sit there and be silent. That's 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 you you that's just as violent. Like you 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 think it, it's cool. And and there's a thing that we have to have these conversations and talk. This Keith. is a talking situation. So I'm Keith. not into yeah. I have a question. Where's Oprah? I don't know where I is with. Oprah? I, I don't, Anybody, I don't hang out like, with no, but like, where's Oprah? I haven't heard her voice and like black people, white people, like every people, everybody listens to Oprah. Like, is she in a bunker hiding? Like, no, I'm not gonna get into that. I, I, don't, I don't know, but like, it bothers me. It's like she has I, such I, a, I, a great yeah, loud do, voice, what but you gotta do, what you gotta do is hit up Oprah because <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I, I don't, I'm not. She knows what she's supposed to do if you don't see us. She knows what she's supposed to do. And what happens is she has a big platform. Yeah. The, yeah but if you have a huge platform, people, I'm saying, you know, my, my, my old schoolers, see, some of us, some of us old schoolers, we're looking at, this is the, I, I, I'll give you a quick perspective. I know I'm, I'm going in today. Some of my old schoolers, I and mean, I look at it this way, this is not for me. When I mean by not for me, not for my generation. And, and, and let me clear that up. My fucking generation is old and stupid and don't understand shit. They're stuck in their motherfucking ways. So they need to get the, get the fuck out of here. The younger ones understand. Because y'all the ones that are the, y'all the ones are the tech savvy dudes. Y'all can sit around and call out a lie because we all got they got Instagrams. You're crazy on the text. You're organized on 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 on, the, on your on your social platform, and it becomes a, a becomes a, a situation of 
I decided to not deal with dealing with some of the older people that are stuck in their ways. Yeah. And that's 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 on black and white. I don't give a shit. I know yeah. the young okay. kids are growing up. My daughter is, is 15. She's looking at this shit like, yo, there's issues that's gonna happen with her. And 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 I'm gonna move a little a little out of it, fucking global warming. Mm -hmm. That's an issue. So I'll probably be dead before the polar caps melt, but it might melt in my grandkids' lifetime. Yeah. Her, the 15 year old. Yeah. So that's a motherfucking problem. So, so let's, put a, a, let's a, put a bunch of let's put a bunch of like conscious fifteen year olds no, on, in the boardroom. No, hold on. Nah, this is this is an issue here that mostly everybody has been raised on a black president that I thought I would never see in my lifetime. That's that's what they understand. So with the younger generation, you you guys and the millennials, y'all understand that because y'all had that. My generation had to fight to get that. That just happened for y'all. Mm -hmm. So when things happen and becomes natural, y'all it's 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 now it's a new way. You've been raised on my people that's listening. This 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 ain't about racial, but I'm just telling you what it is. Been raised on one of the greatest golf players in the history of golf. Tiger Woods. Been raised by one of the baddest and two sisters in tennis history. These are sports icons. Kobe died, united a world. Yeah. That's black history. So that's not for us. That's for the younger guys, man. Because we know what Kobe did. It's for the younger ones that don't see the shit that we see and like, and I can even deal with my bloods and crips. We, they, you a crip, you a blood, we going at the war. But that's still dissension amongst us. So now yeah. we're in a zone where hip hop culture has united so many countries. That's why everybody around the country, I'm not around the country. And that's around really the cool. The world is protesting. And that's because really cool because because of the hip hop culture. Yes, yes. Because and and anybody that can sit around and say like, hey, we don't want white people in there, and and then, but I tell you one thing, to my black brothers that came up in the protest with me and my crew and everything and my black sisters, and when you say there's there's no room for white culture, let me give you an eye open experience when you get booked for a festival and they're paying you dollars so you can pay your rent or pay your kids tuition most of the kids at the They hear us, some of us, and even our younger ones that are consciously driven, talks about in their music. So this is why I say it's for them. They mm -hmm. got a different perspective about how it goes. Yeah. So my culture, my generation that ain't trying to get on or trying to understand that, you just need to sit to the side and pass away. And that's coming from me. And that's how I feel. Just sit aside and pass away because some of y'all ain't, ain't changing your motherfucking soul. Y'all gonna stay the way you are, and it's not about that. It's about my it's about my young ones, my daughter and her, my nieces and my all of my my younger cousins. It's what they see. They see shit differently. They don't see it the way we do. We had to fight, you know, to to, 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 to shit. I mean, this I'm going into sports. Let's take the NFL. Colin Kaepernick, oh, you're right. We were sorry.
but he was the whole, most hated man on the planet to white corporations. Mm -hmm. Because he just said it's about police brutality, and 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 then when 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 a white was it, his marine officer had a conversation, sat down with Collins, they talked about it, and it was him that suggested that Collins take a knee. So they didn't even, they didn't even care about the, the the white marine officer that told Collins what to do, and Collins said, "Okay, I'll do that." And we got that shit. They making it seem like he said he. This is what the man told him to do, and he listened to him. So this is this is where we at. But this is what I. This yeah. is what our young ones see. That was that, that was, was really line. loaded, but um, every right to be loaded. So, um, I mean, I'm just here yeah. to spread the word. I mean, absolutely, spread the word and we and appreciate talk about that from a perspective that a lot of yeah. people miss. Yeah, and I, when I and then when I made about my. My 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 black artists and black rappers that like just no play for white the white culture in here. Let me let me let's see who's at your next gig. Or who books you for that next gig? Not not that little change money, but that big change money. Let's see who books you for that. Which is we all rocking with Live Nation. And who owns that? I ain't. Well, I, they probably ain't gonna never fuck with me after saying stupid shit like this. <laughs> and I, um, I, so, I couldn't say stupid shit. Saying what it is. So I feel like that is a really big what the fuck of the day of the week for you. And I know we gotta roll out because we've been on here for an hour. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell Once you about again, keep my. Keep my drinking. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about my what the fuck of the day. And tell me you guys, tell, tell me you guys, like, your thoughts. Um, I got asked to shoot potentially the mayor of L.A., Eric Garcetti. So not sure how I feel about that yet. I know that there has been change that's been made. There has been less money that has been allocated to the LAPD. Um, is trying it's hard um but yeah that was my fuck what the fuck of the day so i gotta sleep on that think on that um i i am happy to see that the change that is happening thank you everybody who has been protesting and standing up and speaking your voices keith thank you for having this conversation with me um, oh, I, I got a weekly week. and I, I got a crazy week. yeah tell me so my what the fuck of the day is them goddamn Democrats. So mm. the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi and all of them go to pay respect for George Floyd. Okay. Now here's a what the fuck. I get it. I'm with them. They're paying their respect to George Floyd. But them motherfuckers wore an African scarf that enraged the African community because that's not what that scarf meant. There's a lady that was online talking about that. See, this is a big problem. You're looking at it as unit, unit, a solidarity for black people in America, but you're pissing off our African heritage. That yeah. when the people from Africa are saying, yo, that's some stupid shit. What are you doing? This is the shit. That's a what the fuck. And and once again, Nancy and Pelosi, you just disregarded black people. If we're from, if you say we're from African descent, and we was, and y'all know that I'm just making a, a hypothetical statement. That's like crazy. If you're saying we're from Africa, and we're African American. And you thought that's what we would expect? Here's a problem with this. Black people in America is disconnected from Africa. There's no going back to our homeland because we don't know nothing about it anymore. Africans don't even deal with us like the way we're supposed to be dealt with. That's the fucking problem. So 
when you do that stupid shit, then you so think of the history of, book, everybody. Up the game. Yeah. Without somebody saying that you need to, um, uh, 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 uh somebody didn't pull a crap coattail like, I don't think you should do that shit. That's not cool. But they thought that's what we would, what we would like to see. That well, ain't shit. That ain't yeah. nothing about nothing. I, I think I there should like be a, a whole like funded. Well, no, this is just totally a joke, by the way. But with the industry shifting, there's going to be people that are like COVID moderators on like large productions and sets. So maybe there should be um, no, Black no, Lives no, Matter no, moderators. No, no, yeah, yeah, no joke. I'm joking with you. I said that. it was a joke. This is this is fucking common sense. Somebody says, like, no, you shouldn't wear that. Almost one more, one more story of what the fuck. <laughs> All right, keep it coming. One more, y'all, and I'm out of here. Last one, <laughs> um, and then we're out. So the, so the, we know that the Harriet Tubman movie was in, uh, was, was supposed to be being made and stuff like that. But y'all, people, a lot of people might not know that it was in production for 26 years back in 1994. And I saw this on the, the young, the young lady I, I really adored, Tamron Hall. She's. She said when they was doing the Harriet, Harriet, uh, it was a white girl that was telling the story of what happened in the boardroom of the Harriet, produ Harriet Tubman production. So everybody was white. There was, I think it was like 94 this happened. And there was one black guy in the boardroom and it was talking about Harriet Tubman. So this is, this is what I'm saying. This is why I'm equating this to Nancy Pelosi. Now. One white person said, well, why don't we get Julia Roberts to play Harriet Tubman. Now this is you go to Tamron Hall, and I think she had the lady on in November before we before we came into quarantine. The problem was motherfuckers didn't didn't flinch of saying like that was wrong. It took the one black guy, which is always have to be, to look at them like, I know you're not serious, and they was dead serious. But there was nobody in there with a common sense other than the black guy, which is we understand. No white person is there like, yo, man, that's stupid. Same well, with well, Nancy Pelosi shit. Tur turn 2012, um, there's there's a show that has been really great called Hollywood and it's on Netflix. And it's it's a it's the same storyline of that. Um, where there's a black script writer and once the executives find out that he's black, they want to like defund the film. And the director fights for um, the black screenwriter and the director's white. And they're stuck in between like, basically is it a, a white girl that should play this role or the black girl? And they really come down to who's better at the role as an actress, not seeing color. And it, it was not appropriate for a black female to fill that part, but they still did it anyway. So I- But, but, but what I'm saying to you, Kat- No, but the, that's the thing. Yeah, but no, then that not, was like the flip side with the no, Netflix not Hollywood flip, one. What I told about, that's not a flip side. You want Julia Roberts, a white girl, to play a black a black woman that was big part of our fucking heritage. That's that's ridiculous. You don't even can't even. I absolutely agree. To a to a situation. What I'm saying is, was there was people in the room that thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. And I absolutely agree. What's interesting about the show Hollywood is that the black woman, who was the actress in there kept on getting put into the parts that where she was the maid and things like that. And she was like a background extra. But now she was able to get the opportunity. And this this was taking place in a setting of like the 70s or something. I, I, I got a fact check on this. But um, she got the opportunity to play like the better role because she was the better actress. But they had, yeah. everybody had to fight for that. But, but we, I, you know. In unity. But, but. What, but yeah, that, about, yeah, but Julia Roberts, about, that makes sense. You gotta sense. understand one thing, Kat. You gotta understand mm -hmm. one thing. What I'm talking about, that's not, you, you're asking a white woman to play one of our, our biggest leaders. 
I yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it makes no to, sense. I know I was going like that this. Has to do with somebody was whether somebody was good for the part, but no, but that leaves that leaves a fucked up taste with us when you yeah. like you wouldn't have you wouldn't have Denzel Washington play John F. Kennedy. <laughs> yeah, weird. You wouldn't. No. Nobody would think about doing that shit. Unless there was a cartoon up. and he did his voiceover? No, that wouldn't even happen either. Probably not. No, it won't. Just go into extremes here. Yeah, no, it's no <laughs> extremes. You're like, you would never get that. Yeah, so, those are the I get things, you. Those are the things I'm saying. And and when you, when we when, and we get that all the time with us. Mm -hmm. We get that all the time with us. We yeah. get Charlton Heston playing, and, and Elizabeth, if, we, if my history is correct, Playing Cleopatra and everybody knows Cleopatra was black. Then you got Elizabeth Burton playing it. Look at the part. Well, where, where they don't know, but this is because that's the old time because we don't have control over Hollywood. Never did. You heard it from the one now, and the only. Now, yes. Wikipedia of Keith Shockley. Yes. I'm not a Wikipedia, but now you can't do that shit because yeah. we have technology destroys all that shit that they can say. Mm. And the young kids knows this shit. So they go and say, this is not, this is not what that film says. <laughs> this is not what that film says. So those are the things that I like to talk about and address. And that's the things I address when I deal with, when I'm talking to corporations that's trying to figure out how to deal with black people. I lay it out on the line. We ain't mad. We just want y'all to just fucking be smart like don't say the stupid shit like now like i said you want to get rid of urban music after 40 years of Yeah. Yeah. Hey. We do. Let me put on the makeup. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There you go. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Hey, my little, uh, my little niece there. All right. I'm good. How are you doing today? It's a, a it's been a day. Yeah. I mean, everything that's going on. It's good to see your face. Yeah, it's good to see yours today. Everything that's going on is a little, it's a little crazy out there, but it's good. It's yeah. Good. 
yeah um some good change happening and uh some wild things you know yeah um it's good to see everybody else's faces in here too yeah thank you guys for joining hey, in yes Once again, you know, this is the, uh, oh, I'll let you take it. The issues. Yeah. Hey. We do. Let me put on the makeup. Uh, <laughs> there we go. There you go. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah. Hey, it's my little uh, my little niece there. All right. I'm good. How are you doing today? It's a, a, it's been a day. Yeah. I mean, everything that's going on. It's good to see your face. Yeah, it's good to see yours today. Everything that's going on is a little, it's a little crazy out there, but it's good. It's yeah, good. yeah. Um, some good change happening and uh, some wild things, you know. Yeah. Um, it's good to see everybody else's faces in here, too. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining hey, in. Yes. Once again, you know, this is the, uh, oh, I'll let you take it. Issues. Yeah, I know. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if our sink is on. Oh, right yeah. Now. Our sink is on. I know. I don't know what happens. Yeah. So, 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 so we. Should I try to reset it again? Oh, see, we just. I think we're okay right box. now. Huh? Yeah, I think we're okay right now. Okay, but there there is a delay because. Yep. If you speak, nothing comes out. Then it happens. I'm probably getting the same thing on your side. Maybe um, they're messing with the uh, with it, everybody that's coming in. Everybody's being online at the same time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Hey. 